What is up everyone, this is Trent here again, and today I got some Homefront gameplay, and I know a lot of you guys have been excited for this game, I too have been excited, and this is going to be my third overall game that I played, it was a, a ground, it was like a basically a domination type gameplay, I forget what it's called, sector control or something, I don't want to sound stupid, but um, it was about a 20 minute match, so I cut it down to my opening spawn where, oh by the way I am sniping, so this will be sniping gameplay, but I cut it down to the beginning of my opening route until my first death and then toward the end of the game because I found that to be the most entertaining so as you can see right here the first sniper rifle that you get it takes a couple it takes two shots to kill unless you get a headshot so I mean it's not too bad I haven't tried out the second one that you unlocked because I'm not a high enough level but I want to start off by saying this gameplay is going to be my basically my thoughts of what I think of Homefront within the first hour of owning the game and I want you guys to know that I have not watched one Homefront video, and I have not talked to one other YouTuber about this game. This is complete my own personal opinions of my first hour of playing the game. And what I've come to a conclusion is that it's similar to, um, shit, what's that game called? It's similar to Battle Battlefield. Uh, I really don't play it, so that's why I forgot what it's called. I don't like it, but it's similar to that in the way that you move. It, like It's kind of slow paced like that. As you can see in this game, I'm having to play defensive when I'm using the sniper rifle. My first game, I tried to run around with it, and it, it was just really hard because you can't like you can't really quick scope with it. It's just it's really hard to like rush and run around with this game, especially with the sniper rifle. So I had to play super defensive, which isn't my style. I don't like playing defensive. It's just it's not how I like to play. So that's one of the things I didn't like about it. But there is more than more. I liked more things about this game than I didn't. I found it to be quite fun, even though I found a lot of people saying that it wasn't that great. I think it's a great game. What I did like about it was all the customization features that you had in this game. You can customize literally everything just as if you were playing Black Ops. You have the option to pick a assault rifle class, a submachine gun class, a sniper class, and many others. And not only that, but you are able to customize kind of like perks. What happens is once it's kind of like um, Medal of Honor in where where you get once you get a certain amount of points which you get points from kills or capturing capturing flags or assists once you get those points you're able to call in what you have unlocked you have the unlockables of drone uh, airstrikes rocket launchers and equipment so basically you can unlock like flat jacket to give yourself extra health you can call in an airstrike you can pull out an RPG launcher if like you, you have, there's a tank and you want to destroy it or you can fly around in like a helicopter, which is considered what a drone is. So, I mean, that's a lot of customization right there alone, which makes the game quite a lot of fun. You're also ranking up in this game. Oh, as you can see right here, I'm capturing I'm capturing C. So, basically, I'm securing it. And I'm basically doing it by myself. I was telling the whole team, you know, get your ass over here. You know, we're fucking losing. You know, start doing stuff. And this is a nice little streak. I think I go on a nice streak. Um, with the pistol and then I see some people I get this guy and then I see some people coming and I was almost out of ammo so I threw a grenade and I think I played this very smart but more customization that you're able to do is you're able to add well first of all of course you're able to like customize your grenades whether you want a flash grenade or basically like a stun something similar to that and you're also able to customize the camo on your gun which is you know I don't really think of it as a big deal because I don't really care what camo it is, but I mean, it's another feature that people like to have. You once you like, um, once you get to a certain level, you can unlock different features, which you know it always gives more people a reason to play, which makes the game even that much more addicting. Which I think is the reason why people play these games for a long time is for the fact that they are addicting. And I can see this being this game being quite addicting. But one of the things that I like about um, this game, about customization on the gun, is the fact of all the features that you're able to put on your gun, all the attachments. You have attachments from, basically, uh, you have attachments from like red dots to like, you you just have a shitload of attachments. I don't want to like ruin everything, but a lot of people have asked me what I think of like should should I go out and buy this game? Like what uh, what do you think about that? I I actually think that it's a game that I wouldn't just go out and buy. I would recommend renting it from like Blockbuster or if you're in the UK, um, a different store. Rent it first and see if you like it, because. I personally find it to be a great game, but at the same time, I don't feel like that it's a game that compete with Call of Duty. It's just, it's a good, it's like one of those games that's really good, and you'll probably see five or six gameplays of this from me, and then, you know, I might slow down on it. But it's a game that I find to be fun, but I just don't think that it can be, compete with Call of Duty, because even Black Ops, being a slow-paced game that it is, 
is a little bit more fast paced than this game, and I just I, I find that to be the most fun. I think that if Modern Warfare Two and Black Ops were released at the same time, they weren't released a year apart. I personally think Modern Warfare 2 would be doing better. I think that it would sell more, and I think more people would be playing it just for the fact that it's such a fast-paced game, and I think that that's preferred compared to slow-paced games because it makes you play more defensive, and I don't think people like that, and that's just my honest opinion of watching other YouTube videos and hearing what other you know machinima directors and what other YouTubers think about these games, and that's just my personal opinion. And as you can see right here, I was trying to, like, I got frustrated with sniping, so I pulled out the assault rifle, and I have a lot of fun using the assault rifle. As you can see, I got like the green camo on this. And this game's just about wrapping up. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to buy this game? Have you guys already bought it? And what do you guys think of it? Um, that's about it, guys. I hope everyone has a great day. And please, if you liked this video, please leave a rating. I, you know, I think every commentator asks in their videos because, I mean, realistically, it's really hard to get views these days, especially when you're a smaller channel like mine compared to, you know, the big channels that are doing all these giveaways and stuff. It's really hard to get the views, and it just really helps everyone. So if you guys want to help me out, go ahead and favorite. Have a great day, guys. Bye.